In 2007, Nugget Bridge flooded. Um, at the time, we didn't know that the rest of Sheffield had flooded because we had no electricity, we had no news. So we didn't realise that the devastation that had happened in the rest of the city. You can just see the top of the, the swings. The, the park was so full that the swings had disappeared. Um, you know, that's somebody's somebody's house, which I just can't. You can't. There were some picnic benches in the in the park. Um, which have now gone, um, that I can see from my bedroom window. And we watched the water coming across towards them. And we watched them sort of slowly disappear. And we never for a second thought that the tops would go, but the whole, the whole bench disappeared. It just completely, the whole table disappeared. And there were three and one was sort of nearer the river. And we watched them in succession sort of just disappear under the water as as it came up through our our cellar floor, because it as the water table rose, it it came came in our house through the floor. I think I think people think well, it's just a little bit of water, and when it's dried out, it's gone. And it's not like that at all. It's really not like that. You've got mud and silt and 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 sewage, the smell, the sludge. I. You know, we obviously we've got a storm flag cellar, and and it was oh, probably an inch, uh, an inch deep in just mud and gunge and horrible horribleness. This is Coronation Park, and as you can see, I pretty much live in it. And the the proposals would mean that um, the river runs mm. just the other side of that fence there, and that's where they would proposed to build a bund to contain the water in the park. And I think at this point it's an in principle um, agreement to upstream storage and the use of floodplain in a more, a more effective way than it is just allowing the water to come in as it does. It would be a more effective way of containing it to try and protect downstream and properties in Uterbridge. Um, and then the detailed work gets done and we work out whether we're going to lose trees. I, you know, I don't, I don't want to lose trees. I love these trees. I look at them every morning out my bedroom window and it's my home. I, I love them and I would hate for any of them to go. But if it protects properties and businesses, then I think we make the most of any scheme that we can access. So I started a petition just basically to ask that our elected representatives support homeowners and businesses, um, not just in Newtie Bridge, but uh, from here downstream, to just to try and get people to understand about flooding and about the, the effects of flooding. So the petition has only got 40, I think 44 signatures. It's not a huge petition. I think what's important is that every single house um, on the estate opposite and these three cottages that were flooded, there is a signature representing every single home and every single family. So it's not about numbers for, for me with this. This is about who this petition represents. It represents every single home that was flooded over there and here and every single family and the effects that that had on them. There's also a signature on here from the Brass Band, um, representing the Brass Band in Uterbridge. Uterbridge Brass Band had a little hut just on the other side of the road um, that was completely devastated in, 2000, in 2007. Um, the Brass Band is still predominantly local people. You know, I don't think that there are as many people that are as affected as, uh, as I am. I suppose that's why the petition was so important, because these are people who have been flooded. And these are people who have been directly affected by flooding. These aren't people who use the park once a month and think, oh, we don't want a, 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 a bund down there because it might spoil the look of the park. These are people who know what flooding is really about. If you're going to let the park flood naturally and then there's no benefit downstream, why not use it more effectively? Flood it, perhaps deeper, but flood it. But then there's a benefit downstream and it might spare people this, this misery that nobody else seems to understand. It's not about just 
what happens in this village and what happens to our park. It's about what happens to Sheffield.